Week number two for Kelly J. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six-week course where our slimmers are going to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi, Kelly. Hello. So you've just jumped home from work, haven't you? I have. I'm still in my uniform, still got my lanyard on, but I did nip to the loose, so that's good. Otherwise, I'd just be moving. I've just been stuck in traffic for a very, very long time. Oh. Well, it's just the way it goes some days. It's not what you want, though, after a long day, is it? No, and a staff meeting. Oh, no. Even worse. Yeah, definitely. But, yeah, I'm home. Excellent. Right. Have we been on the scales? So, I've got my pound this week, but that means now three and three quarters, and I really just wanted four, so then it was a regular two. But I'm okay with the pound. I have. I am premenstrual. Okay. I've done really well with not eating sugar because when I'm in this sort of hormonal mood i do want the sweet savory sweet savory and i've been really good about that i've not done it at home at all had anything sugary and i've had some like healthy sort of um snack bars you know like the naked ones and is it naked yeah, yeah. um but only maybe like having a bite which is, sounds really weird but it's just enough and i've eaten shed loads of grapes this week little tiny seedless black ones that are really sweet so yeah so I'm actually quite proud, and I'm on the toilet all the time. Oh, well. I know I said that last time, but I know I'm drinking a lot of water. So yeah. I know some people would be like, surely that's not a good thing. But it is a good thing, because it means oh, yeah. that you are washing all those toxins and all those things from your body, which is good. A- absolutely, and I'm not going to the toilet in the middle of the night or anything like that. So it's not like it's something that I need to worry about because I have to go to the toilet. Yeah. In the middle of the night, you don't drink, so you don't need to go. So, yeah, and I've noticed in my skin as well, definitely with the water, yeah. Have you managed to track this week? No. Okay. I told you I was going to be honest. (laughs) I've written down, I've written my list, I just haven't done anything digitally. Yeah, that's okay. Is that a word? I think so. Digitally, doesn't sound right, but yeah. I understand exactly what you mean there. (laughs) Yeah, but I have been doing my list of what I've had, and if I've had anything extra, I've been honest and put it on. Excellent. But to be fair, it's normally just extra fruit or something, because I do like fruit. I've been having some pineapple as well this week, but tinned pineapple. Yeah. That is due to go out of date. I think it's been in the cupboard since the 70s or something. Oh. <laughs> I made sure I'm eating it this week. Uh, you know, you always have that one tin and you take it to work every day and then it comes home with you every day. I have actually eaten it, so yeah. <laughs> so has it been at school? Have you managed to eat whilst you're at school? It's it's quite strange because people have seen me in the staff room. So I've been doing the thing, like I said, last week. So, for example, this week on Monday, my husband was on an early. So we had sea bass done in like parchment um, with vegetables. And that was from Iceland, by the way. Really, really good already. I had all the vegetables and my bit of sea bass. He had his with just loads of new potatoes and peas because he's literally doesn't eat any vegetables. Then I had, and I did did extra spinach with mine. So then I took half the spinach and half the vegetables to work the next day with some uh, chili hummus. And I reheated it and it was really nice. So that's what I've been doing again, just having half a tea, but bulking it up so I feel full. Yeah. And then having what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. So how have your steps been this week? Normal? Well, it's just really busy at school. So I'm looking at 13 to 14 a day, um, and that's just normal. Yeah. I've not done anything extra. I've told you that I'd, after work, I'd, I'm not wanting to do any exercise. Yeah, I'm no, just that's not. Fine. I know my steps are not particularly getting my heart rate up fast, but it's constant. Yeah, I'm on my no, feet all the time. So I feel like in that way, I'm doing okay step-wise and just hoping to, again, at the weekend, just go for a walk. And a lot of people, you know, they don't understand, like with Apple Watches, how they calculate how long you've been standing. And the reason standing is so important because it does engage your core muscles and it does work some of your muscles as well. So as as everyone knows, that teachers stand a lot, don't you? (laughs) And my stand thing has been vibrate, does vibrate. This is a new one, by the way. My other one broke. The screen oh, just came off. So my husband bought me one. I put it on last night because he bought it me for it's our anniversary at the end of May, Aww. our 10-year anniversary. So he just surprised me yesterday because he knows 
I, I love seeing my steps. I love it when you go walking and it says, oh, it looks like you're exercising. Yeah. Are you? And you're like, yes, I am. And you press the <laughs> yes button. And then it's like, oh, you're not exercising anymore. No, I'm not. But you've still got that record. And I think it's, and my sleep pattern. I have slept more this week than I have done. And today I went into work and I was just, I don't know, I can't explain it. I've just been in a really good mood all day, even though I know I'm hormonal. And it just, I, I said it, I just feel, I, I can't explain it. Yeah. But I feel good even being stuck in traffic on the way to work and on the way back this today. I still feel quite bright, which so is good. The, what I really want you to do as well is up your protein a little bit more because okay. with the whole uh, menstrual system, um, it takes quite a lot of iron, quite a lot of protein from your body. So it's really important to try and up your iron and protein. Okay. Um, and I know this was our initial uh, target anyway, wasn't it? But just to try and, you know, make sure that's happening and add maybe a little bit more if you can just for this week, um, which is also why um, a lot of hormonal women go for the sugar, because, again, your body is lacking protein and it gets to the stage where it just wants anything. And this is why you do get those feelings of wanting uh, sugar or in some ladies cases, wine. <laughs> <laughs> definitely today but certainly can't on a school night yeah the children would know absolutely simple as that they're just like <laughs> tracker dogs they would just be able to say oh miss jordan you're a bit quiet today they would just know they would get no, to take their coat off yeah but yeah so it's just it's not worth it for me but definitely the sugar what other meals have you had this week that you've enjoyed um aubergine parmesan but like made it myself i keep forgetting to take photos i'm ridiculous and then i've got i've got a little bit left and then i don't take a picture but i really enjoyed it and i think i did some lighter grated cheese on the top and it was literally like um, a homemade basic sauce but with bas basil and i had some in the packet the parmesan like you said yeah. so i put a little bit of that in the sauce as well and what it did it made it almost like it's got meat in it oh nice like the mince the mint because i can't eat mince it knocks me sick uh it, it's a well-known joke in my family just the smell of burgers cooking i'll start gagging it's ridiculous it's just one of those things but it gave me that sort of feeling like it was more meaty than it was yeah so i had half of that last night with salad a really big salad with loads of tomatoes and peppers and balsamic and then the other half again today and again, I really enjoyed it. I was looking forward to my lunch. And I never, ever do that at school. Perfect. Well, I'm glad yeah. to hear that. I think another day I just had soup and it was boring. So I'm not going to tell you. About that. Well, this is what I was going to say. Did you have anything this week that you didn't really enjoy and you won't be repeating? I, I'll repeat it. I think it's a homemade soup and they hit and miss. I forgot to put the spinach in. And I think the spinach always gives it that nice sheen. Yeah, it's sort of and I just forgot and I just felt like it was awful and I had it for the night and then I had it for the next day what day was that not this morning when was it or am I was, no one oh anyway it, it wasn't today but I had it maybe it was all like it might be over the weekend and then I did take it to work oh yeah it was Monday it was Monday's lunch so I made it on Sunday and you know when you're just really bitter about your meal as you're eating it but yes. you want to eat it because you're hungry you're almost swearing at the food. So, yeah, I just need to be a bit more thoughtful with my soups, I think, rather than just throw everything at it. And yeah, yeah, definitely. Less is more when it comes to soup, I find. Yeah. The other thing as well, when you add too much, it just goes brown, doesn't it? <laughs> That's the thing. And then I thought, well, oh, put a bit of curry powder in. And then it just tasted like it didn't know what to be. Yeah. You know, and I make a really good soup that's that's spicy. My friend loves it when I make it. We take it in turns to make homemade soup every week. And she liked it on Monday, but oh, it just wasn't sitting yeah. right with me. Yeah, but she puts garlic in soup and I don't like garlic in soup. No, I'm not a garlic fan anyway, but... Not in soup. Yeah, so anyway, that's that was a miss, but I'm sure I'll make a better soup next week. Fabulous. Okay, so what is your goal for next week? I've got to at least do a full two, I think. To stay on track, yes. I think we should do that. I know. It's okay. Yes. 
I'm going to be bloated, remember? But who cares? I'm going for it. I'll drink even more water. Yeah. And like I said, the key is just to get in plenty of protein in as well, and that will make you you feel stable. I'm not sure that's yeah. the correct word, but uh... I'm not sure I'm ever stable. Let's just put it out there. But that's okay. <laughs> I often say it's better to be weird than boring. Exactly. So I'm sticking with it. Yes. <laughs> right. That's right. what I'm going to do then. Protein is going to be my um, shop on Saturday. Have you got any yeah. questions? No, I'm not very good with. I don't really like ham. I don't really like cold meats. Yeah. So, and I, I just always end up eating chicken and tuna is a, a safe one for me. So maybe if I just have a couple of days with tuna and maybe one chicken, do you think? I'm thinking what? more for lunch in the yeah. evenings. If it's hot, I'm going to I can... send you a plant-based list of protein. Okay. And I think it will be nicer or easier for you to add plant-based protein than having more meat than you're well, having because you said you didn't yeah. you weren't really a fan anyway so to overload that no. I don't think you'll enjoy it so okay I'll send you a list of the plant proteins um and that'll probably be easier for you to add in well that will be great thank you fab any other questions nope wonderful none at all right have a good and week thank you thank I will you. Speak um, you next week and I shall see you definitely next week because I've got no parents problem. evening Wednesday and Thursday. So it's definitely, I will be home early. Okay, fabulous. See your smiley face. Okay. Great. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you so All much. Right. I'll see you next week. Bye. Bye now. Bye. 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 Bye.